Hello, so I bought one of these. It's a bump cap. So um, I'll go into a bit of detail on this, I'll show it on, and then I'm going to talk about a bit of sort of escalating headgear to offer protection sort of in as low a stage as possible, if that makes sense. It will make sense when I get to it in the video. So this is a bump cap. So basically what a bump cap is, is it's sort of the lowest level of head protection you can get. Now it doesn't offer anywhere near the same level of protection as a hard hat or anything like that, but the idea of a bump cap is it's a hat that you can wear or a cap that you can wear that will offer very good protection against actually bumping your head physically into things at fairly low speeds. So by that I mean sort of if you um, were to... Um, sort of, you know, you work, you're working in a low sort of ceilinged area or, you know, under a cupboard or something and then you went like that rather than, you know, banging your head and actually hurting it um, this would give you pretty good protection from that now I'll explain why I got this, so I'll put it on now I'm pretty sure I've got the um, liner in the right way because you can remove it as soon as I got this it was brand new with tags I took the liner out to have a look at it um, and then I couldn't remember which way it was in the thing, which was typical um, but I'm pretty sure it goes in this way, so the brim has the full kind of bit of plastic in it um, rather than the brim being at the back but I do notice that if you have it this way the slight back bit of the liner comes out but it's not a massive deal um, but you can see it's held in there by the kind of um, that bit of the uh, cap so this one was actually made by Scott um, you know the same ones that make the masks so how this works because this is an adjustable one you can get some of these bump caps which aren't adjustable as far as I'm aware but they have a full sort of plastic dome this one um, the shape of it is kind of, if I get the uh, sides of the cap off it you'll be able to see. This one it's basically shaped so um, you've got little gaps in it there so it will actually flex inwards when you adjust the cap. Um, and then obviously at the front you've got the bit where the brim is so that protects your head there. So when it's on you pop it on. And I went for this design particularly because I wanted one that was actually you know, not in a standout colour, it's in sort of a pale green, um, you know, like an olive green, which is good if you wanted to use it with camouflage stuff. Um, and the brim's not too long, and it's not too round either, because some of the bump caps look really round, which I don't particularly like. So, um, you obviously get that on, then at the back you've got this to adjust it. Um, so then you've obviously got head protection going pretty much all the way back. It stops about here, um, about there. So obviously you can get hit in the back of the head there, but I don't think you'd normally get any blow to the back. Well, it depends what you're using it for, doesn't it? But in terms of the protection it's designed for, it's mostly for you, you know, accidentally doing that and hitting your head on something. Um, and then it goes partially on the sides, but not all the way on the side. So as you see, if I went there, that would hit me in the head. There it would hit the cap. There's also vent holes there, but I don't think there's going to be much, well, at least where the cap's intended for where you'd be able to you know, actually hit yourself between those like bits of plastic. As like I said, if you wanted one that covered more of your head, you might want to get the ones that don't look as much like genuine uh, like actual caps, and the ones that look like, um, you know, they're just a bit more dome-shaped, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, so Weapon Collector did a video on these recently, and I'd sort of heard about bump caps before, because one of the companies that makes the Riot Helmets had them on their website, and I thought, well, that's interesting. But I didn't think too much about them, you know, I thought, would I consider buying one? I don't know. Um, and then I was out for um, a walk um, the other week, and they were mowing, like, not mowing, but when they cut back trees. And rather than cutting the branches down and then using a wood chipper to throw them through, they were using a tractor with, um, you know, like a giant blade on the side. Um, like, almost like a giant chainsaw blade. And what happened was obviously I was a safe distance from the tractor, there was no chance I was on a public footpath, I wasn't in the field anyway. There was no chance of me being mangled by the actual saw itself, but what happened was the uh, saw cut off a bit of the tree branch, or like a bit of bark, and it shot out at high speed, hit me in the side of the head, uh, had a really bad headache for um, you know the rest of the day. Um, luckily, obviously, didn't cave my head in and kill me. Luckily it didn't hit me in the eye, because that would have taken my eye out and blinded me. Um, but, you know, it made me think, oh, shit, you're not actually particularly safe, are you, when you're um, out for a walk just in the countryside in that regard? Not to sound like you're being really paranoid, but I thought, you know, there's actually a case of wearing something like this. Now, the other thing I was thinking about as well is when you're driving along, so I wouldn't recommend this for in a car, but this is where I'm coming from. When you're driving, quite often you'll see a car go past, it'll kick up a stone as it goes past, that stone will hit your windscreen, it might even crack your windscreen, but the windscreen's prevented, you know, the rock or whatever, flying into your car and hurting you. 
But I thought if you're walking down the side of a road and a car drives past and it kicks up a stone, that could fly into your head and potentially kill you if that went in there and, you know, caved your skull in like that. Because obviously, I'm sure you know a rock thrown from a sling um, from pretty much any of the ancient, you know, history period. Um, you know, up to like sort of Roman uh, history when slings were used as weapons. A sling flying off from that is probably going at less speed, um, you know, a stone from a sling, than a stone thrown up by a car tyre going at 70 miles per hour or something like that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, based on the RPM of the tyre when it kicks it up. So if a stone like that hit you in the head, I think it would cave your head in and kill you potentially. So, at least with a bump cap on, you've got some protection. Now, they actually specifically say these are not rated for falling or flying objects, but, you know, because they're just designed for banging your head. However, the way I thought about it is, you're not going to really get any kind of helmet without going to a full-on hard hat or something like that that does offer those levels of protection. And surely something like this that actually, you know, stops you um, really feeling it if you hit yourself in the side of the head is going to do a pretty damn good job <clears throat> at least minimising the damage of a flying rock or something like that. So I definitely wouldn't recommend this for a full-on riot scenario of people chucking bottles everywhere and things like that. Um, but for, um, you know, casually walking along, um, things that might fall from the sky, and I don't mean like space debris or something like that would actually crush you, but like I was saying, you know, things kicked up from something else, a wind, you know, fast winds blowing something, I think that would give you good protection from that. So, that's a bit summarised on the bump cap, so what do I want to talk about now? So what I wanted to talk about now is basically um, what sort of helmets could you go beyond this then? Now, the thing I like about the bump caps is they look pretty casual, and unless you're new to look out for one, you wouldn't know somebody was wearing a bump cap, at least not a design like this that looks quite close to a conventional cap. As I said, some of them offer slightly better protection than these, but they're actually bulkier, so they would give it away, but this one I think looks like a pretty good um, actual cap. As I said, I like the shorter brim on it, I don't like long brimmed caps. Um, and I imagine you might actually be, I'll try this in another video, I won't do it with this one, but I imagine you might be able to actually take the liner out of this cap, because you can take it out of the cap, obviously, um, and you might be able to get it to fit into other caps, you know, just as well. So if there's other caps or hats you like wearing, you might actually be able to take the liners out and put them into those. Like I said, this is actually designed for it, because it's got the folds to keep it in once you've put it in. Um, but, you know, that was something that was interesting. So what would the next level up of protection be? Well, Weapon Collector did a video on this the other day, and when I say the other day, I mean when I'm actually filming this video, not when it goes live. Um, and it was about sort of um, a helmet he reckoned might be good for SHTF, and it was, um, you know, it was like um, kind of a bit like a skateboarding or a cycle helmet. And he was saying that you know you could upgrade it, but you know it wouldn't offer ballistic protection, but you could potentially upgrade it to do that. But it would offer protection from like flying rocks and stones and things like that, a bit like I was saying about this cap, but you know to a much better degree. So yeah, bicycle helmets or rock climbing helmets, things like that. Um, they don't look as militaristic, if you like, you know, want to use that term, as uh, some of the others, but um, would offer good head protection. So obviously a push bike helmet or a cycle helmet I think would be a good choice because it offers protection to obviously most of the sides and top of your head. But they don't look too out of place. Now, where I am, you'll see lots of people who have left their bike somewhere and just walk around with their cycle helmet on because, you know, they don't want to clip it to their belt or something like that. So they walk around with their cycle helmet on till they get back on their bike to leave wherever they're, you know, going. So nobody bats an eyelid at somebody walking around with a cycle helmet on. Um, you know, not the full-on motorcycle helmets, but just like the push bike, crash helmet kind of thing. So... Yeah, I think they might potentially be good in certain scenarios because it wouldn't raise too many questions if you had it on. Uh, and it's obviously going to protect you from some blunt force trauma and flying, you know, debris, even if they're mostly rated for you falling off and banging your head. Um, obviously, I think it would work the other way that an object flying towards you, rather than you flying towards it, it would still offer protection from. Um, and as I said, things like rock climbing and skateboarding helmets under the right circumstances also would, you know, look fairly uh, convincing. I don't know how many people would, you know, bat an eyelid at somebody walking around with a hard hat on. Obviously a hard hat offers the best level of protection really from flying heavy stuff like bricks because the design of a hard hat is basically the outer plastic shell and then the bit that sits on your head and there's a distance between them. The idea being that when the force of the object hits the hard hat, the hard hat kind of moves in but the stuff on your head stays in place. So basically that gap absorbs the um, impact rather than it just being directly on your head and then splat. Um, so there's that. Then the top level of head protection is obviously going to be things like this. 
I've got liners on these, but Kevlar military helmets, um, you know, designed to actually stop firearms, bullets, um, pistol rounds, and shrapnel. Obviously, would stop um, blunt force impacts as well. Fairly well, nearly all of these, as far as I'm aware. I don't know any that wouldn't, you know, that could stop pistol rounds, but would shatter the moment something hits them. Um, and obviously, things like riot helmets, not designed to offer ballistic protection, but. Um, the inside is basically like a much thicker version of a bump cap or um, a sort of the rock climbing helmets. You've got your polycarbonate or very hard plastic or Kevlar, whatever they want to use, outer shell. Then on the inside you've got your uh, either polystyrene or like um, another kind of like impact foam. The idea being that you've got a hard and a soft shell. A bit like this does, you've got the plastic and you've got the foam. Uh, just obviously a much thicker degree on a helmet like this. Um, the same as riot helmets would be motorcycle crash helmets. A high-end motorcycle crash helmet is basically the exact same thing as a riot helmet. The visor and everything might vary. Um, obviously a lot of motorcycle helmets just have the kind of eye slit bit where you put that up and down. But the actual helmet itself is constructed in the exact same way. You've got your physical hard outer shell, like either very tough plastic or like metal outer shell. And then you've got on the inside some sort of impact foam or polystyrene. Um, so that would obviously be the tiers of protection, as I'd sort of call it. But obviously it depends on what you want to use, but obviously you can adjust um, all the things to the level you wanted. This is the sort of thing, um, if that makes sense, where if you're just casually out and about and you wanted a bit of head protection, then the bump hat is, you know, perfect, because it is going to stop things that would normally cause damage to your head, that's what they're designed to do. They're just not rated for anything particularly strong, but as said, I'd much rather, if a rock was flying at me, have the bump cap on than nothing at all. Because it'd be very rare I'd actually decide to walk around with a helmet on just for the sake of it. So, you know, a bump cap would be perfect for that. I've worn this out at least twice now since I bought it. Nobody bats an eyelid at you having it on because it just looks like a cap. Um, so that's good. But as I said, you'd have to see when you wanted to escalate um, the thing. And as Mike was saying the other day in a sort of stream he was doing on Twitch, and again, the other day is when I'm filming this, not when he actually said it. Um, not when the video goes, goes live, even. Uh, you know, there's when we say SHTF, we don't mean a Civil War type scenario immediately. What we could also mean is just some sort of um, natural disaster or whatever. So if you've got a hurricane or something like that, where there might be flying debris, then yeah, um, I don't think anybody is going to uh, shoot you for wearing a you know higher level of helmet. That's just common sense. Um, so again, it really depends on what you want it for. This video is mainly to talk about bump caps, but obviously, like saying it goes into other things. Now, if you really want high level of head protection, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. I like this one. Like I said, it suits my needs. But I think for some people, um, they'd probably rather have the one where it's actually like a full thing that goes all the way around. Um, you know, like it's a deeper cap, but it's, you know, so anyway, the person at the door kept me talking for ages and it's kind of made me lose my trail of thought now. But going back to it, as said, there's different levels of sort of bump caps in terms of protection. So some offer more protection than others, but then again, they're bulkier. This is exactly what I need in a bump cap, um, you know, to offer protection from sort of low speed flying objects and things like that. Um, and as said, you can go obviously to higher tiers of helmet protection, but then they become more obvious and heavier and everything else. So these bump caps are very good if you want one like this just look on eBay just literally type in bump cap and have a look until you find a one that looks like this I don't think there's loads of other you know writing on it other than saying you know it conforms to whatever standard it's meant to conform to so um, yeah bump caps are good I'd recommend one yes so see ya